Just returned from an incredible trip. My team and I spent two weeks in northern Norway on a shoot documenting backcountry skiing and adventure travel. We were in one of the most beautiful places I've ever shot, the Lofoten Archipelago. It's a place where giant snow-covered mountains rise straight out of the fjords. And beautiful fishing villages are found around every corner. Before I take you on my Arctic adventure, I'm gonna give you the breakdown on all the gear needed to photograph this incredible place. Hey everyone, how's it going? Liam Duran here, and uh, exciting times right now. Tomorrow morning, I leave for my first uh, big adventure since uh, COVID, essentially. So. We are heading off to Norway in the morning, or sorry, tomorrow afternoon. And uh, I thought I'd run you guys through all the gear that I'm taking because it's kind of interesting. There's all sorts of weird, fun stuff. Um, what are we doing there? We're gonna be doing a lot of backcountry skiing, a lot of photography, landscape photography and action photography, and travel photography. Um, so yeah, lots of fun pieces of gear to check out, and I'll show you how I pack it and why I pack it. Um, so here we go. Okay, so let's start out with uh, all the soft goods here. So um, here we go, we got my, uh, I have my entire uh, Haglofs Vasi touring kit. So that's gonna be super important. It's gonna be pretty rainy and snowy while we're there, very wet. Um, so I'm gonna really count on this to keep me dry and warm. Uh, my wife just pointed out, wow, you have a lot of gloves. Well, there's a reason for that. It's gonna be, like I said, it's gonna be really wet, kind of soggy snow. Uh, and we'll probably go through at least two pair of gloves a day. Um, so I'll probably even add one more pair to this to make it, what do I have? One, two, three, to make five pair of gloves total. Um, of course I have all my insulating gear, goggles and hats, two pair of goggles, two hats, insulated shorts. If you don't know about those, oh man, well, we'll have to talk about that later. Um, then we have all of our kind of technical AVI gear we have ice axe, I have my beacon, shovel here, probe, uh, communication devices, uh, which are super important. Also all the sharp stuff, boot crampons, ski crampons, ice axe, and then, uh, and then here's the fun stuff too, all my actual ski gear. So what I'm using for this trip is the atomic, well, what I use basically every day, my atomic Backland 107 ski. It's just a phenomenal do everything sort of a ski. Uh, the Backland binding, nice and light. It's a pin binding, tech binding, and it works really, really well. If you're wondering what's going on here, that's just my ski poles that are uh, kind of sitting in the bindings. For boots, I have the atomic Hawks uh, Ultra XTD 120, just a really phenomenal boot. Kind of does everything I want. Uh, and then some climbing skins. So that's kind of the gist of kind of the outerwear and ski gear that I'm gonna be, ski gear that I'm gonna be bringing. And give me a minute to pack all that stuff up and then I'll run through what you probably really wanna see and that's all the photo gear that I'm gonna bring and there's quite a bit of it and uh, oh, and there's one pretty cool addition to my kit for this trip that I'm pretty excited about. So uh, I'm gonna pack this up and we'll be right back. All right, camera gear. Here is uh, a big pile of it. So what are we bringing? Um, let's start with the lenses. I have the 1424 with me, uh, so a nice wide angle zoom. I have the 2470, which is a real workhorse lens for me. That's great for action and for landscape. Um, and actually going back to the 1424. Uh, most people consider this a landscape lens. I actually use this more for sports uh, than I do for landscape, kind of funny. Um, but anyhow, moving on, I also will have the Sigma 100-400 with me. And I should note that all these Sigma lenses are the DGDN uh, series, meaning they go right onto the Sony cameras very easily. I don't need an adapter or anything like that. They just click right on and they work beautifully with the Sony system. Okay, for cameras, I, of course, I'm gonna have my Sony A9 II with me. Uh, that's this guy here. This has turned into my, you know, kind of my everyday camera, honestly. For, for all my sports action and wildlife, uh, I use this quite a bit. So while we're in Norway, we're gonna be doing some landscape as well. We're gonna add to that. So I have on loan with me, kind of specifically for this trip, uh, the Sony Alpha One, which is pretty cool. Uh, I get this for the next couple weeks. I get to put it through its paces. 
Uh, this really, I think, is an ideal camera for a, a trip like Norway because it is 50 megapixels, so for landscapes it's going to be awesome. But it also is very fast camera, both the autofocus is very fast and the frame rate is very fast. I can shoot at a very high frame rate um, to capture all the action. So this is kind of does everything that I'm going to need in one camera. So honestly, for this trip, the Alpha 1 is going to be my main camera and it's kind of hard to say, hard to believe, but the, yeah, the, the A9 II is going to be my backup for this adventure. So that is, you know, my, that's my entire camera setup right there. I might also bring the 7200 with me as well, the sport lens, um, but we'll see. I'm not 100% sure if I can fit it in with all the weight and all that kind of stuff. What else am I bringing? Oh, I am bringing the drone with me. I do have a, a Mini 2, just the tiny little drone. So hopefully we get to use that for a couple photos and a little bit of video. So I'll have that. And then, oh yeah, and of course I have all the, uh, the Sigma i-series lenses, not all of them. I have a 20, a 35, and a 65 with me. So these will also be with me. And what I'm gonna use these for is just kind of the travel stuff. So. You know, we'll ski a lot in the morning uh, or the afternoons, but we're gonna have time to be touring, traveling, looking around, seeing Norway. And when we're doing that, this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use these three lenses. They're, they're really small, they're very light, they're super sharp, um, and it's just for, you know, great to have in my pack uh, when I'm not doing the, you know, the, all the ski action stuff, I'll just use these guys. So really excited to have these along with me as well. Okay, what else am I gonna have with me? All sorts of odds and ends. Um, I'll, just, I'll just show you guys. <laughs> kind of, whoop, some of the stuff here. Um, you know, I've got a bunch of batteries. I'll have three, five total batteries. Uh, a whole lot of memory cards. There's uh, six in the case there, and another two, and two more in the cameras already, and they're all 64, no, that's not true. Most of them are 64 gig cards. There might be one or two that is a 32 gig. Um, I'm bringing, of course, my, uh, my what is that? The Air, MacBook Air, uh, not much to say about that. Kind of a weird computer, gets the job done, I guess. And plenty of external storage, that's two terabytes there. Um, and I do have another drive coming, but I'm not seeing it at the moment. Okay, and all of that gear will be carried in uh, my Mindshift, or Think Tank, uh, Backlight Elite 45 liter, uh, which might sound like a big pack to have out with you for the day, and well, it is, because uh, I need to get all my lenses in here, that stuff will all fit right here, but then there's also a big compartment up top where I can put my climbing skins, an extra layer of food and water, all that kind of stuff. And this pack is really made for, for someone like me because um, it has all the attachments on the outside as well, so I can put my skis on the back if we're, you know, going up a steep chute. Um, what else? Uh, you know, I've got water bottle holders on the side. Uh, I have ice axe holders here. I'm bringing an ice axe with me. We'll probably have it with us uh, numerous days so I can attach the ice axe right here. So this is really the ideal outdoor photo pack for me. Uh, and that is what's going to hold and protect all this gear that I have here. Okay, that's kind of it for gear. That's about everything I'm bringing. I'm sure there's all sorts of other little random pieces and odds and ends. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please do leave them below. Um, but even more importantly, follow along on the adventure. Uh, I'm going to be there for two and a half, well, about two weeks of ski time and landscape photography time. And, uh, and we'll be sure to show you the adventure. So here we go. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, join us for the next episode. See you soon.